Hey guys, so today we're playing a game called Kamiko. Now, it's another kind of indie game that came out. We played Mr. Shifty before, uh, which is kind of a, a little bit of a larger indie game. This is kind of a smaller indie game, but it's out today on the marketplace, on the eShop. It's $5, so it's pretty cheap. And you're going to see it, it, it kind of has that same feel as like a top-down type like Zelda, Link to the Past sort of, um, which I think is kind of what they were designing it towards, kind of that look. But I figure we'll check it out and see what you guys think. Like I said, it seems like a pretty good price at $5. And you can see here, I'm at the main menu right now. They have play options and then a question mark. I don't know what the question mark is. Um, options just has some uh, extra things, including the language. You can change it. Now, it's been available in the Japanese shop for a little while now. And you could just download it and play it before. But this is the English this uh, version. This is the one that was on the uh, US marketplace, of course, the one on the Japanese one, you could just change to English, no problem. Um, but this is the one you would get if you downloaded it from there. Uh, so we have a couple different characters here. I'm gonna go with, uh, I guess, Yamato with the large sword. Although I have a feeling a lot of people are going with uh, this character. Transient world, abrupt though this may be, thou art summoned now to the realm of the dead. So it has that kind of dialogue and, and uh, kind of, I guess that old English type. <laughs> Uh, language thou sh thou should know that the gates connecting thine transient world and our realm of the dead have been sealed by demons. Yep, this goes on. Thine transient world will become rulest by said demons. Seems more dramatic than it needs to be at this point. Um, they could probably just kind of type it up in a menu memo, like you know, uh, demons are attacking, path of destruction, kill them with this sword. But uh, before you is the imperial. <laughs> regalia, the blade of, oh man, Kusanagi, we'll go with that, Kusanagi. This grant to thou be amongst the shrine maidens, you hold a special power. Hear my words, O child of the transient realm, become the Kamiko who will vanquish the demons and release the seal on the gate between worlds. And now we can kill stuff, alright. <laughs> Pretty quick to get into, uh, okay, so A is uh, A is attack, B appears to be dash, and now I'm just gonna start hitting stuff with this sword. A little combo action there, you can kinda hit A a couple times, one, two, three, okay, so you got like a three hit combo kinda. These guys are kinda pushovers, I assume you just get to them right away. Um, there's a switch, we'll hit that, and door will come down. Very good, anything else left here? Some pots, you always wanna smash pots. If you've learned anything from Zelda, you always wanna smash pots. And we got dash to get a little faster and more comboing. So it looks, I, I do like the look of this. It kind of has like that 8-bit like pixel look to it, like pixel art kind of look, which is cool. Um, oh man, so they just throw a bunch of enemies at you pretty quick. Here we go, a little bit of comboing there. There's a chest over there, I, just, I, I can't jump or anything. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I got the bees. Okay, so, you, oh good, you cut the bushes up. Let's cut them up. Uh, 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 looks like those red pieces are your health or hearts, I guess, in this case. And more switches. I have to push this guy into the switch, probably. There we go. A. Oh. At least it saves you from having to, like, push stuff around. It can get kind of annoying. Kind of kick it. Got a bridge here. Treasure chest. Oh. That's interesting. You have to spend, like, a currency to open up the... Oh, what do I have here? Aha. Uh -huh. Throw it right through... Okay. I'm... Oh, wait. Maybe? No. What did I just do? Okay. Okay. That's not how you throw. There we go. Let's get back here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, I see. There's something down there. I probably gotta get it, too. I think I have to wipe all these guys out first, or just get around them. I'll wipe them out first. We'll do that. I'll just, I'll just beat them up real good. Combos. I like that they have that subtle like screen shake right there whenever you kill something. Um, it makes you feel like you hit, like there's that impact feel to it. That's really cool. And spikes will go run right over. Oh man, there's more guys. I guess I just need to start like running through here like carefully or beforehand and wipe these guys out. Oh, I guess I can run around them. We're good. We're good. Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do, but. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. That was one something I was supposed to do. That's good. And it saved the game for me. Very good. I'll just wipe these guys out real quick. Boom. Get that. Moving right along. Yeah, this game's pretty... 
kind of cool so far. Like I said, it has that, like, oh, okay, that guy can take some hits. Kind of has that feel like a, like a Zelda, which is cool. Oh, man, everything's back to kill me. Jeez. I think, uh, ooh. Yeah, this definitely has, like, like I said, a Zelda feel. I don't know if it, oh, it does, oh, it even has the, you press and hold A, and you can, like, do, like, a little spinning. Oh, that's using all my stuff. That was not the plan. I get it back pretty quick, but I just kind of beat these guys up to get it back. Uh, I guess I'm trying to do all this to open that gate right there. So I'll, I'll figure out what that um, what that guy was for. Let me just start wiping these people out so I can get my combo power back or my whatever you want to call that stuff. There we go. And I have what appears to be a key. Oh, bees! Oh my gosh, stuff's everywhere. Oh man. Oh, well, I got I got to do that. So let me put this down and. Okay, I need to kill more stuff to get more, get more currency or points, or you want to call them. So I'm I'm pleasantly surprised for five dollars so far on this game. It's um, it's a fun game. I have to say, it's not like a, oh, it's not really a throwaway five dollar game, which is nice. All right, hundred, all right, hundred twenty. Here we go. Speed along there. There we go. And that should be like another one of those. Uh, I guess one of those guys unlocked. Yep, two more. So I'm figuring what those keys and stuff are for. I'm kind of just going through and doing that stuff, so. Switch. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'll just let you get... I still don't know what that chest was for, though. I gotta figure that out, too. It'll come to me. It'll come to me as we go along here. I'm speeding through everything. There we go. I'm not fight. Oh, what's that guy? Let's kill it. <laughs> That's kind of like what your reaction is in a lot of games. What's that? Let's kill it. Oh, this is cool. This is kind of like the, um, all right, so in Link to the Past, there was a, uh, part, like, the first temple in the Dark World. There was, like, a, like a, what is it, like, a forest you'd look down through, and you'd have to kind of try to figure out how to go through without, um, actually seeing it at, like, floor level. That's kind of what that reminds me of right there. I don't know if that's, like, ah, uh, they keep giving me stuff to, okay, well, good. That I don't have to, um, wait, what? Say, so that I don't have to worry about trying to put somewhere. Whatever I just picked up. Go down here, treasure chest. Oh, good, I have 54, I need 50. Another one of these things. I still don't know what these things are for. It's probably for something like obvious. Oh my gosh. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Oh, there's a, there's a key. I bet you that's where that key's supposed to go. Um, there's a key spot up here. So I have to either wipe people out and uh, give me enough time, or I have to like figure out a way to get there without getting hit, I guess. Well, let me do that real quick, because I at least know where to go with it now. Keep wiping people out. There we go, wiping people out. There we go. And I don't know if I can run with it. I don't think I can, because every time I hit B, I think I drop it. There. Okay, so we're good on that. I still don't know what that, um, that what you call it was for, though. The, uh, the orb thing that I was kind of holding up. Uh, running, running, and like these guys, ooh, wiping these guys out. Yep, and we'll grab that. So I'm still in, I, I have to imagine this is still just the first, like, I guess, area. Um, and I, I'm wondering if most of them are like this, where you kind of go through and you unlock, like, the next area, and then you go to the next area. Uh, I, I mean, I guess that would kind of get repetitive after a while, depending on how similar or how sane the, the areas are. But so far, I'm having a good time with this. Um, and I guess the next one is at the top right. Uh, save, that's good. I wonder if this will just teleport me back to... Oh, it will. I like that. Okay, no, that's just save. Alright, never mind. <laughs> that's just how to save. Would have been handy if it teleported me back, but that's fine. I will make it work. Ooh, man. There we go. <laughs> and I just gotta go up that top part now and see what's going on up there. So they seem to be kind of in like a, almost like an order part. Oh, uh, okay, we got two guys there. I wonder if that has anything to, so I guess I have to get the two um, uh, spheres and put them in those spots. That makes more sense. All right. I can do that. Well, get rid of these guys. There we go. Now let's go do it. All right, here we go. Put this one in here. There we go. And we'll go with the next one. Ooh. Let's 
more saving. I guess a better question is where did I put that other orb? Let's see, it's probably close to here since you don't go far. Guys, those guys live through a lot, man. There it is. I believe that's the orb down there. It's gonna be a, gonna be a lot of stuff to run through here. <laughs> I passed so many people just now. It's gonna be bad guys. Come on. Careful. Careful. Oh. Careful. There we go. And I'm in. And I guess this is the last part of this, this first area, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll get to fight like a cool boss, that'd be neat. Uh, that's usually you push that, I guess not, okay. <laughs> they kind of taught you that in the beginning and then they kind of restrict you right away from using, from pushing anything. <laughs> well, here's the, oh man, here's the, that was to say here, now I'm at the actual, like the part I've been unlocking this whole time. Um, man, I'm getting like, Geez, some of you guys are pretty, pretty serious. There we go, got another one. I wonder how the other people play. I guess like the one looked like they were ranged, and the other one had like a shield. So I wonder if that plays like it has like a uh, like a like you can block those fireballs that I just saw. Oh, go in here and get. Oh, cool! I got another. Uh, Heart. Of course it doesn't refill it. <laughs> Why would it? I mean, I'm sure I could find some in here if I really check. Hey, there's one. So, I'm almost... I'm just missing one. That's good. Mm -mm. There's the last part I need right there. Get that. And we're on to the next part. Hopefully. We'll say. I have a feeling there's like a, a boss or something at the fight. Saved. Hit this switch. Oh, bees. So many bees. All right, run past that. Run fast, run. Okay. All right. St area one complete, I guess. Is it gonna tell me? Okay, nope, just teleport me to the next place. All right, here we go. Oh, I can, oh, I can pick what I want. Hmm. I, I'm gonna go with more life at this point. Definitely more life. I don't feel like I'm ever too low on the, um, I guess, whatever the bottom currency is called. I don't feel that low on it ever. It, it would still do me the courtesy of, of filling my life up, you know? Especially before I do this. I, you know, I probably just ran by bushes or something and didn't even realize it. Now I gotta try to figure out how to beat this thing up. Oh, 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 no, no! <laughs> Uh huh. That gives me life, which is go. Oh, I'm trying to get. I see. I'm trying to get him to turn these switches on. And turn this one on. Ah oh, man. Uh oh. I guess I waited too long. That's fine. It seems pretty straightforward. Once you start topping, I just kind of hang out here and let him jump on me. And this one. And this one. And this one. There we go. Now what? What's happening? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Huh. Nice. That's not a bad little mechanic for a boss. That seems kind of cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh man. That, he hit me. There we go. Oh, now he's jumping lower. I see. Okay, okay. Here we go. Jumping lower now. Got to be careful of these things that fall down. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Got to do it one more time, I think. It's always in groups of three, right, with these bosses? It's always groups of three. But I will say they're not giving you any health here from what I can tell. Oh, no. Now he means business. 
the way. That's that's my quack. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Boom. Yes. So you get out of the way of these things and go find the real one that is over there. It's over there. Hmm. Got him. That was a cool boss fight. I gotta say the mechanic actually wasn't bad for it. It was, uh, it's definitely, uh, I hope they're more unique like this one, because that was actually kind of fun. Uh, okay, 11 minutes, that's not bad. At least I don't think that's bad. I don't know. Maybe it's bad. Not bad. I, you know what, I, I, I enjoyed that, that boss battle, that mechanic. Okay, sunken relic, so we're somewhere else now. But, um, I don't want to keep rolling through too much of this game. I, I'm not sure how much, uh, how much game exactly this thing has to it with a $5 game. Um, I'd hate to play through a good chunk of it on camera and ruin it for some of you guys. I just want to give you an idea of how it played and everything. And overall, you know, oh, time display. Oh, see, it would tell me how long it takes to do that. All right, cool. Um, oh, and a manual. Oh. Okay, that is built in manual. Very nice. Um, so I would check it out. It's five dollars. Uh, it's not bad. It's Kamiko. It's 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 not a bad game or anything. It's it's like an eight bit, obviously top down pixel based game. If you enjoy like like a feel of like Link to the Past sort of, it would pro you'd probably enjoy it depending on the I guess the boss battles going forward, how unique they are. And there's three different characters to play through as. So maybe you like a different play style. You can do that. I think I picked the person who was all offense, <laughs> but. You know what? Good time. Check it out. It's on the eShop today. It's $5. It's Kamiko for the Nintendo Switch. I will see you guys next time.